Hey yo everybody, what's going on? So today in this video, I'm actually going to be making a second video, actually of three. I'm making three videos today, and one of them I already made, the second one I'm making now, and the third one I'm getting ready to make. So this video is going to be me talking about what I caught fish on yesterday, which would be the day before yesterday, if you guys are watching this. So anyway, what I caught fish on on Sunday. So this main thing that I did before I went even before I even went fishing was this was a plan I literally had the Saturday before was I wanted to throw a swim jig because my cousin and his dad had been telling me that a chatterbait and a spinnerbait really works well in this pond and I got to thinking well I got chatterbaits I got spinnerbaits but if they're eating the chatterbaits and spinnerbaits well I wonder what would happen if you take Mr. Swim Jig here and cast it out of there so I decided, I said, you know what, why not? So I tied on Mr. Swim Jig. This here is a Strike King Tur Grade Heavy, and this this is not the Heavy Coach, sorry. This is the Tur Grade um, Swim Jig in white, just normal white Swim Jig. And it's got a little Berkeley Sick Fish Swim Bait. Now this is not my normal Swim Bait throw on this, but it is the one that I had on it. And, uh... You know, I could say that this is the best trailer ever. Honestly, I don't like it that much, but for a trailer on a swim jig, it's pretty good. So that's what I caught the first fish on. It was my sixth cast with the swim jig, and I actually hooked into the fish. He hit it twice. He hit it once, and then I pumped the rod tip a few times, and he hit it again. And I hooked him almost perfectly, and he ate this little swim jig with the little Berkeley trailer. So, next next thing now what i think actually helped with this bait was the fact that i put some of this on it now you may have you may have watched the other video i made a few i think it was like a week ago that i was talking about this spike it stuff and literally just sunday my cousin's dad he actually gave me this little marker it's a uh it's, now the cap is pink but it actually turns out to be orange and it's in a crawfish scent and it looks really cool on green pumpkin and stuff like that. So what I did, because I had this bluegill swim jig, I had noticed that the bluegill in this pond had a lot of orange on them. So I took this bluegill swim jig with a green pumpkin rage crawl trailer, and as you guys can probably see, I took that orange marker and I marked on the flange of the rage tail crawl, and literally the first cast after i put that on there i had a bite right at the bank then my second cast i missed one on my third cast i caught one then on my fourth cast i had literally had one come out of the water after this thing right at the bank it literally exploded after this thing this is a striking heavy hack attack heavy cover swim jig and it's in bluegill color obviously now you guys may know this that there is a little bit of orange on the belly. But I noticed that the bluegill that they were catching had quite a bit more orange on them than just on the belly. So I figured if I put some on the little trailer piece that it would probably work. And man, did it ever work. It actually caught me. I think it, I think that this is one of the reasons I had so many bites on it. Now, I did only catch one, but the bites I was having just made me a firm believer in swim jigs even more. One of the bites I had, I think it was my second or third bite um, that I missed, I had this swim jig. Okay, this is what happened. So I cast it out. I was reeling it. Okay, so it hits the grass. I think it hits the grass. And so I stopped reeling, and I thought it was grass. It was actually a fish that hit it. And so I stopped, and I was getting ready to pop it out of the grass. And when I get ready to pop it out of the grass, my line had moved four feet the other way. That's how bad they were wanting this bait. So they were definitely feeding on bluegill and shad and other things in this pond because this is one of the only ponds I've ever been to that actually has shad in it. So if you guys are wondering what I'm, I, I was throwing it on, I was throwing it on this Shakespeare Alpha rod. It's not the best rod, but it is pretty decent with the Shakespeare Alpha reel. Now, this is not my favorite setup, but for moving baits like a swim jig, crankbait, a spinner bait, chatter bait. It is a pretty decent rod and reel setup. I had 15 pound Berkeley Trilene 
line on it. You can see it's it's like a moss green color. It is a very good line for moving baits. It's not uh, too heavy, but it's not too light. Um, it's not going to be um, breaking off on something that's real light. You know, if you're not going to break off if you hook into a small limb. Um, but it is light enough to where the fish aren't going to see the 30 pound mono, you know, because some people do that. I don't understand why. But yeah, that's what I was throwing it on. And I really do think, because I did make a few casts before I put this on, and I do really think that this here helped me out quite a bit. So yeah, caught fish on the bluegill swim jig and the shad swim jig. You can tell there's quite a bit of difference because of the color and the size. The, the weight on both of them is a quarter ounce. A quarter ounce uh, swim jig is just perfect size in my opinion. But also, what happened after this was even crazier. So, me, him, me and my dad, or sorry, me and my cousin and my cousin's dad, we went out and we went around on the other side of the pond and started bluegill fishing. And we ended up catching 49 bluegill. Some of them came off. There was a lot that we missed. But there were so many bluegill in this spot that we actually overfilled a minnow container full of bluegill. And we had water in it, obviously. And we actually overfilled it to where we had to go get a five-gallon bucket just to keep all these bluegill. And we were keeping bluegill for my pond. And we actually have 49 plus 7, that's 56 bluegill in my pond now, which is crazy. We have 56 bluegill and two bass. And uh, that, I think, is awesome. So, sadly, I didn't get any of the uh, bluegill on film because I'm a moron and didn't have my camera on when I started catching them. But I ended up catching probably around a dozen, I'd say, bluegill. Plus, I caught a bunch of uh, small, tiny ones that I just lost. And I also lost a few big ones. I, I lost one that was, he was a pretty big one. And plus, I actually caught one of the smallest ones on one of the biggest hooks. I was using the biggest hook out of all three of us. And I actually caught one of the smallest ones where it was like, probably two inches long it was tiny but anyway thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already make sure you check out my other videos and uh share with a friend if they're needing help learning how to bass fish tell them to come and ask me because i'll definitely help them out thanks for watching Bye.